There has recently been brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons Lego sets. And we're going to compare the characters in this video to the Lego ones and then the video game characters. And we're going to see how close they are and how much they match. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to go into the town hall and we're going to go visit Isabel and Tom Nook and we're going to compare what they look like. Okay, so firstly I'm going to show you an image of Tom Nook. Okay, so that's what Tom Nook looks like. So let's just sit down. And let's just wait for Tom Nook at Game of 12. Okay, so we're going to zoom in on Tom Nook. Okay, so looking at him right now, I have the Lego minifigure. But, so he has the same badge. It looks like, like the Nuke logo, the leaf. And then he has the pink ears. His ears are a little darker on the top, you can see. And then the Lego one, which is more of a, just a dark color all the way. And then his eyes are droopy. So that's, yeah, so other than that, it looks like they did a pretty good job. And then, yeah, so the face looks pretty much, of course it doesn't look fully. Like he does, but that's okay. Okay, so we zoomed in on Isabel, and I have a minifigure. So with her mouth open, you can see her little tongue, and then her tooth. But it looks like in this version, her tooth, um, her tongue covers her tooth in the game version, but in the Lego version, it does not. And her fur colors a little different. She doesn't have her headband, so she does not have a headband. She has a little pink dot on the side of her ears. I cannot see that. And then her outfit is different than the one on this Animal Crossing. My guess is an older version of Isabel. But other than that, her face and stuff like her face coloring looks pretty close. Okay, I'm at Harvey's Island, and I got Fauna, so let's just go into my pro camera, and remove, and let's go into the tripod mode. Okay, I have the Fauna minifig, and she's not wearing her original outfit, it looks like. So, she has her eyes, like the little black things that poke out of her eyes, eyelashes, that's the name, I couldn't think of that. So, yeah. Those match up, and then the brown is pretty much comparable. And then her ears on the Animal Crossing have a white inside it, kind of like a leaf in a way. Her, let's see, yeah, her cheeks, the pink on her cheeks matches pretty. And her skin color, it looks like it's a bit more yellow on the Lego minifigure. The one does not have a tail, but I would say the fauna match is really good. I would give her a 6 out of 10. It is time now to go on to our fourth resident, which is Marshall. So, let's look at Marshall. Okay, so immediately I can see on the character that there is a green on top of head. Wait, I guess I kind of see it. Like the green, but this is a much brighter green than on the game characters. The pink on the Legos minifigure is very pink. Marshall's is a much lighter pink, as you can see. Um, the mouth matches really well. The purple ears. Since the green and stuff, I'm going to have to give Marshall a f seven, 6 out of 10, which is still pretty good. Alright. Now let's move back over head back to my island and move on to Cap'n.
we are back at my beautiful, I guess, um, whatever this is. Well, anyways, so, Cap'n, he's the guy that takes you on an island tour and stuff like that. So, let's go into our camera mode here. And, whoop. Okay, so as you can see, so he just waved to the camera. And looking at the minifigure, so right now he has his glasses on, but which the Lego minifigure cannot. So that would be cool, maybe if they came out with another head for him, so you can take it on and off, one with sunglasses, one with not. But I think it is cool that they did come with the lead glasses, because he takes them off at night. So, as you can see, his green shorts that he's wearing matches the green pants on the Animal Crossing minifigure. And then he has his um, green hands and his shirt matches. And you can see his face, which matches like his mouth and his nose. And um, he matches extremely well. I'm impressed. If we get out of this tripod mode. Oh, wait. Did you look at that? See that picture? That's actually really cool. So let's go back into the mode and zoom in on the top of his head. And so I'm taking off his sunglasses right now, and it matches pretty well. Well, yeah, the captain is matches extremely well. I'm impressed. So I had to change up the scores a bit because I thought some of them weren't quite right. So, eh, without further ado, Isabel is in fifth place. And you're probably curious why I picked this. Well, this Isabel, it looked like it was from an older Animal Crossing game. And it's her face color and shape didn't quite match. Like the yellow was a little too bright. Her other, her in between her face was a little too like light colored. It wasn't bright enough, and not a very big difference, but her tongue wasn't in between her teeth, like with the Isabel at the, that we know. So, sadly, Isabel is in fifth place with five points. Sorry, Isabel. Alright, in fourth place is Marshall. Now, Marshall... And they did a pretty good job matching, but there were some things I just didn't quite think that they should have had. Like the green on top of his head, I don't think that matches. It's like a light green and a dark green. His hair was a tiny bit green, but not like the Lego minifigure. And the pinks, and the pink on the side of his cheeks just didn't match. It was too pink. So... Marshall is in fourth place with six points. Now, in third place is Fauna. Now, I thought I really loved the Fauna minifigure, but my her um, her ears is a bit different. It's surrounded by dark pink with like a leaf shaped light pink in the middle. So I didn't think that quite matched. And she didn't include a tail, which I think is okay. But for the sake of this video, how they match, I'm going to put her in third place with seven points. Now in fourth place is Tom Nook. I thought they did an amazing job with Tom Nook. My only thing was, was the ears and the tail. They just didn't quite match. Like, they, they didn't get lighter, they stayed the same color. But, fourth place, with eight points, I thought they did extremely good. In first place, is Cap'n. He was amazing. They did such a good job matching his glasses, 
his t-shirt, his face, his frown, and all of that. And they just did such a good job matching him that I had to give him first place. So, I couldn't really do a good job doing the last two Animal Crossing residents. So, in the Lego, because I don't have them, and I don't know exactly how I would be able to, like, rate them without getting a good close-up look on them, like I did with these other characters. But, that is it. These Animal Crossing characters are really good and matched. Like, they did a very good job matching the characters to the game. But that is it for this video. So thank you for watching and good bye.